Number 105, describe the molecular structure around the indicated atom or atoms, and then we have to find the molecular structure for the carbon atom in Freon, which is CCl2F2. Okie dokie. All right. So whenever, whenever we're trying to find a molecular structure or a molecular geometry, the easiest thing to do is to just take one second and draw the Lewis structure. Now, it might not take one second, but it might take a few seconds. But I promise you, with drawing the Lewis structure and visualizing what's actually going on, you will, it, you know, it would be easier to find out those geometries or those molecular structures. And that's where this uh, chart comes into play here. Now, your teacher or professor may give you this chart or something like this on your test or quiz, but if your teacher or professor were like mine and we had to memorize them, you know, you just got to use flashcards, do whatever you got to do to just make sure that you have the names with the correct structures. And over time, um, you'll start seeing uh, patterns that basically, you know, you'll always be able to determine like what tetrahedral is or a trigonal planar is, but this just comes with practice. And that's why we're here. So the first thing is we're going to draw the Lewis structure for CCL2F2. Now there's tons of Lewis structure problems on this uh, channel. If you do need more assistance, I'm always there to help you out. We go step by step um, and we draw out the Lewis structures. This one will kind of be like a quick inversion. So you can pause the video if you want to see if your Lewis structure matches mine. So draw it out and then see if it matches. So in this case, we have three elements, carbon, chlorine, and fluorine. Remember, when you're dealing with Lewis structures, the least electronegative element is in the middle. So out of these three, fluorine is the most electronegative, so that's out. And between carbon and chlorine, carbon is the least electronegative, so you got two chlorines around it. Doesn't matter whether you put CLCL or, you know, CLCL, that doesn't matter. So maybe I'll put the two chlorines here and then the two fluorines down here. Now, we just need to single bond them. So we'll do that. So single, 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 single. And then for each halogen, halogens have seven valence electrons. They used one to form the bond. So they have six left, and that's the three lone pairs. So we'll just draw the lone pairs around each halogen. And fluorine and chlorine are both halogens. They're both in group uh, 7, 7A, 17, whatever your periodic table says it's under. Um, and then the Lewis structure is done. How quick is that, right? But now we get to see it, visualize it, and then we can find the structure. Now they wanted it for the carbon, so we're going to zone in on that. And in order to find out the molecular structure for the carbon atom, we have to just take into consideration the total number of atoms and lone pairs around that atom. So for the carbon, how many atoms is directly bound to the carbon? Well, it's the chlorine, the chlorine, the fluorine, and the fluorine. So all of them are bound to the carbon. So the carbon has four atoms around it. And just take note of the lone pairs. There was no lone pairs around the carbon. There was around the halogens, but since that's not the um, atom we're talking about, we don't take those into consideration. So we have zero lone pairs. Now, in order to find out what number you're in, you just add these two numbers up. So four plus zero is a total of four. So we know we're in four land. There are three um, known geometries for the land of four. So we just have to figure out which one are we. Are we tetrahedral, trigonal, pyramidal, or bent? And that comes from the lone pairs. In this case, we said that that carbon had zero lone pairs. So you just find where the box meets. And voila, we are in tetrahedral. So this carbon atom has a molecular geometry or a molecular structure of being tetrahedral. And the bond angles for tetrahedral is 109. Um, you may know it as 109.5, which is what I knew it as when I was learning this. 
Um, it may look like they're 90 degrees, but remember, these molecules are not two-dimensional. They are three-dimensional. So some of the bonds are coming out at you in space, and some of them are going away. And that's where the extra couple of numbers come from, because it's, um, because it's three-dimensional and not 2D, two-dimensional. So all of these, between any connection, 109.5, 109.5, even though this looks linear, it is 109.5 in reality. So you can skip over bonds as well. So, um, but yeah. Molecular structure, molecular geometry, trig tr uh, trigon <laughs> tetrahedral, and that's the end. I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. I hope you're having a great day out there. Keep studying hard. Always, always, always keep learning. Good luck on your tests and quizzes, not in just chemistry, but any of your other subjects, uh, you know, history, foreign language, math. Um, go check the channel out. We also got physics and math videos on the channel. So hopefully we can help you there as well. I'll talk to you soon, okay? All right, bye-bye.